Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about compound interest. These are the important definitions and terminologies that we need to remember for the discussion of this lesson. Compound interest is represented by letter I is an interest from the periodic addition of simple interest to the principal amount or simply the difference between the compound amount and the principal. Compound amount, represented by F, is an accumulated amount obtained by adding the principal and the compound interest. Conversion period, represented by M, is the number of times in a year the interest will be compounded. The following are the common conversion periods in a year. If it is annually, then M is equal to 1, meaning the interest is being compounded once a year. Semi-annually, we have M equals 2, meaning the interest is being compounded twice a year. Quarterly, M equals 4. It means that the interest is being compounded every 3 months or 4 times a year. Monthly, M equals 12, meaning the interest is being compounded 12 times a year. Moreover, the total number of conversion periods represented by N, wherein N is equal to M times T, where T is the number of years. Periodic rate, represented by I, the interest rate per conversion period. This is given by I equals R divided by M, where R is the annual interest rate. Present value, which is represented by P, is the principal that will accumulate to future value if there is an interest at periodic rate for conversion periods. Let us discuss on how to solve for the compounded amount or future value. Sometimes, the future value is also called as maturity value. The future value, maturity value, or the compounded amount is represented by F, wherein you can solve it by the formula P quantity 1 plus I raised to M divided by M raised to MT, where F is the maturity or the future value, P is the principal, I raised to M is the annual rate, M is the frequency of conversion, and T is the term or time in years. Sometimes, I raised to M can be represented by letter R. Let us take this example. Find the maturity value and interest if 10,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 2% compounded quarterly for 5 years. The first thing that we need to do is to write down our given. From the problem, we have P is equal to 10,000 because 10,000 is the amount being deposited. Moreover, 2% is our I raised to M meaning this is our annual interest. Remember that the interest rate in percent should be written in decimal form. So, 2% is equal to 0.02. Moreover, since we have here in the problem compounded quarterly, it follows that our M is equal to 4, meaning that the interest is being compounded every 3 months or 4 times a year. Then, finally, T is equal to 5 years. From the problem, what we need to find is the maturity value and the interest. Therefore, we need to find the value of F and the value of I, wherein F is the maturity value and I is the interest. From the previous slide, 
Note that the maturity value can be solved using the formula F equals P quantity 1 plus I raised to M divided by M raised to MT, wherein P is the principal, I raised to M is the annual rate, M is the frequency of conversion period, and T is time. Since we have all these variables in the given, then what we need to do is simply substitute these values in this formula. So we're gonna have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 4 raised to 4 times 5. From here, what we need to solve first is this one and this one. So therefore, we're gonna have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 4 using your calculators is equal to 0 0.005. Moreover, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Next, we need to add 1 and 0 0.005. So it will give us 10,000 times 1.005 raised to 20. From here, you can easily solve this one using your calculators. So what you need to do is to multiply 10,000 times 1.005 raised to 20. So finally, our answer will be equal to 11,048.96. Since the maturity value is equal to 11,048.96, then we can solve now for the interest. Remember, from our previous discussion, the interest is equal to the future value minus the present value. So, therefore, to solve for I, we need to subtract 11,048.96 and 10,000. Finally, we will be having the answer 1,048.96. Therefore, the accumulated interest is equal to 1,048.96. In solving for the present value or the principal, we will be using the formula F divided by 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to MT, wherein F is the future or the maturity value, P is the principal, IM is the annual rate, M is the frequency of conversion, and T is the term or time in years. Let us take this example. Find the present value of 50,000 due in 4 years if money is invested at 12% compounded semi-annually. Just like what we did on the first example, we need to write down first our given. Since we are looking for the present value of 50,000, then it follows that 50,000 is the future value. Therefore, F is equal to 50,000. Moreover, since it was stated that it was due in 4 years, it follows that T is equal to 4. Next, it was in invested at 12%, compounded semi-annually. So, since we have here semi-annually, then it means that M is equal to 2. And 12% is the annual rate. Therefore, IM is equal to 12% or in decimal we have 0 0.12. Going back to the problem, we were asked to solve for the present value. Hence, we need to find the value of P. In finding the value of P, we can use the formula P equals F divided by 1 plus IM divided by M raised to MT. What we need to do is to substitute the values to our formula. Hence, we're gonna have 50,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2 
raised to 2 times 4. From here, what we need to solve first is this one. So we need to divide 0 0.12 by 2 and multiply 2 and 4. So we're going to have 50,000 all over 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to 8. Next, let us add 1 and 0 0.06, giving us with 50,000 divided by 1.06 raised to 8. From here, you can actually key in this on your calculators and it will result to the value 31,370.62. Therefore, the money or the amount being invested is equal to 31,370.62. This time, let us solve for the annual rate. The annual rate represented by IM is equal to M times the empty root of F divided by P minus 1. Wherein F is the maturity or the future value, P is the principal or the present value, IM is the annual rate, M is the frequency of conversion, and T is the term or time in years. Let us take a look at this example. At what interest rate compounded semi-annually will 10,000 pesos accumulate to 15,000 pesos in 10 years? So from the problem, it is very clear that what we need to solve is the interest rate or the IM. So first thing to do is to list down all the given. Since it was stated that the interest rate is compounded semi-annually, then it follows that M is equal to 2. The amount being invested is equal to 10,000. Therefore, P is equal to 10,000. The accumulated amount is equal to 15,000. Therefore, F is equal to 15,000. And it was invested for 10 years. Therefore, T is equal to 10. Again, what we need to find in this problem is IM. To solve for the interest rate, then we can use the formula IM equals M times empty root of F divided by P minus 1. Next, what we need to do is to substitute the given on our formula. So we will have 2 times 2 times 10. 15,000 divided by 10,000 minus 1. Note of this one. This expression here can actually be written as F divided by P raised to 1 over MT. Therefore, this one can be written as 15,000 divided by 10,000 raised to 1 over 2 times 10. Hence, from here, we can actually divide first 15,000 by 10,000, then multiply 2 and 10. So, we're gonna have 2 times 20th root of 1.5 minus 1. So, from here, we can write this expression as 2 times 1.5 raised to 1 over 20 minus 1. Using our calculators, then this expression will be equal to 0 0.041 or in percent form, it will be 4.1%. Therefore, the interest rate or the annual rate is equal to 4.1%. Finally, solving for time in years is given by the formula logarithm of F divided by P to the base 1 plus IM divided by M all over M. 
wherein F is the maturity or the future value, P is the principal, IM is the annual rate, M is the frequency of conversion, and T is the term or time in years. Let us try to solve this example. How long will it take 1,000 pesos to earn 300 if the interest is 12% compounded semi-annually? From the problem, we can see the following given. P is equal to 1,000 pesos. Moreover, F since 1,000 will earn 300 pesos, then it follows that the future value is 1,300. The interest is 12%, meaning IM is equal to 12% or 0 0.12, and it is compounded semi-annually. Therefore, the frequency of conversion is equal to 2. So, what we need to find here is T. To solve for the value of t, we can use the formula logarithm of f divided by p to the base 1 plus im divided by m all over m. Sometimes, this formula is written as logarithm of f divided by p all over m times the logarithm of 1 plus im all over m. Whatever formula you will be using, you should be arriving with the same answer. Suppose we will be using this formula here, the second formula, then by substitution, we will have logarithm of 1300 divided by 1000 all over 2 times logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2. What we need to simplify first are 1,300 divided by 1,000 and 0 0.12 divided by 2. So, we will have logarithm of 1.3 divided by 2 times the logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.06. Next, add 1 and 0 0.06 then you will have logarithm of 1.3 divided by 2 times logarithm of 1.06. From here, you can actually key in this on your calculators and it will result to the answer 2.25 years. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about problem solving involving compound interest. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.